What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 220 1002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you will learn about Microsoft Windows Control Panel Utilities. So let's talk about the control panel. So the control panel is a component of Microsoft Windows that provides the ability to view and change system settings. It consists of a set of applets that include adding or removing hardware and software, controlling user accounts, changing accessibility options, and accessing networking settings. To access the control panel in Windows 8 and 8.1, just simply hit the Windows key plus X and then click the control panel button. On a touch screen, you can just open the charms menu in Windows 8 and 8.1 and then search for control panel and then click control panel. In Windows 10, just type control panel in the search box and then select the control panel link. Let's talk about the internet options. So in Windows 10, the internet options menu can be accessed via the network and internet options link in the control panel. Once there, the internet property sheet will appear and it will present seven tabs. And these seven tabs consist of the general tab, and this allows for you to set the home page, set tab settings, delete browsing history, cookies, temporary files, and save passwords. You can change the appearance and you can configure accessibility settings. You have the security tab that allow for you to configure security zones. You have the privacy tab that will allow for you to select privacy settings for the current zone, location settings, pop-up blocker, and in private browsing settings. Settings. You have the content tab that will allow for you to set options for family safety, SSL certificate management, autocomplete and feeds. You have the connections tab that will allow for you to set options for VPNs, dial up, LAN connections and proxy servers. You have the programs tab that will allow for you to select the default web browser, manage add-on, select the default HTML editor and set the default apps for email and other internet services. And then you have the advanced tab that allow for you to enable or disable accelerated graphics, configure accessibility settings, browser settings, HTTP settings, international settings, multimedia settings, and security settings, and reset Internet Explorer to the D default settings. Then we have the display settings and they have a variety of different settings for Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. And here is a wonderful screenshot showing you some of those settings that you can go look at at your own leisure on my website, technologyg.com. Let's talk about user accounts. So you can manage user accounts and access to other users in Windows 8, 8.1 and 10 by simply going to the control panel and selecting accounts. Let's talk about folder options real quick. So folder options, this is a special dialogue that allows changing settings and preferences for the built-in file manager of Windows 10. You can open folder options in the control panel or open it from the options menu in the Explorer. And the dialogue includes three tabs. And these tabs are as follows. You have the general tab where that'll allow for you to open folders. You have the view tab that allow for you to display files and folder information. And then you have the search tab that will allow you to select folders to index for searching. Let's talk about the system. So the systems property sheet can be used to view the Windows version, what edition that you're using, the processor, model number and clock speed and the Windows experience index, which is only available in Windows 7. The change settings in the systems property sheet for Windows 10, this brings up another window, which will allow for you to make the following changes. So you can go in there and change things such as the computer name, the work group name, the domain name, the system protection settings, also known as the system restore, hardware profiles, remote settings, performance and virtual memory settings. And this is when you borrow hard disk space to be used as virtual memory. But you got to remember that virtual memory, this is oftentimes much slower than regular RAM. 
the Windows Firewall settings. So Windows Firewall, which is also known as Windows Defender Firewall and Windows 10. This is a firewall security application component of Microsoft Windows. It can block unwanted traffic going into or out of the computer. Now you can access the Windows Firewall by clicking or tapping the Windows Firewall link in the Network and Sharing Center, or you can just search for Windows Firewall and then go ahead and start it. Let's talk about some power options. So power options is a setting in the Windows control panel under the hardware and sound category. It allows the user to adjust their power plan and power settings on their computer. And some of the power options that are available are as follows. You have hibernate and this essentially pauses the system and to awaken a system from hibernation, you would just simply press the power button on the computer. You have power plans. So Windows has three standard power plans. You have balance. This is the default plan that balances performance with energy consumption. You have high performance. This is the fastest CPU performance, offers the brightest screen and shortest battery life. And then you have the power saver. This reduces CPU performance and screen brightness more than the balance plan and offers the longest battery life. And then you also have the sleep, suspend and standby. Now, most laptops and desktops can be put into sleep mode by pressing a special key or by pressing the power key and and releasing it right away. And then finally, we have some additional control panel utilities that you will need to know to pass the A plus 220 1002 examination. And here is a pretty little chart that I put together that you can go look at on your own leisure on my website at technologyg.com. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into some of this wonderful check on learning, shall we? So the first question is, the Internet's property applet tab containing an option for configuring VPN settings is called what? Is it general tab? Is it the programs tab? Is it the connections tab or is it the privacy tab? So the Internet Properties Applet tab containing an option for configuring VPN settings is called what? The correct answer is the connections tab. Next question. Which of the power saving states in Microsoft Windows uses the least amount of power? Is it the standby? Is it sleep? Is it hibernation? Or is it suspend? So which of these uses the least amount of power? The correct answer is hibernation. And the final question is, which control panel applet in Windows can be used to check the operating system version and basic hardware statistics, such as the CPU type and the amount of installed RAM? Is it the resource monitor? Is it the system? Is it computer management? Or is it the system configuration? So which one can be used to check the operating system version and basic hardware statistics, such as the CPU type? The correct answer is system. So in summary, we have talked about Microsoft control panel utilities that you need to know to successfully pass this examination. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 220 1002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.